Oh, hi. So let's turn your new, old, whatever tablet or phone on your brand new sim racing, sim rig, and etc. dashboard. So here you are with any phone, really. I'm going to use this as an example. Just uh, I'm going to use Android, but uh, iPhones work as, as well. It's all, all good. So the first part is to set up your sim rig. Let's jump into that and I'll see, show you the following steps. So here I am on my sim rig. So let's do the first steps right now. So the first thing you do on your sim rig is to open a, a browser. Okay. Now you go to you go to Google and you accept all of this and you just search from sim hub. Okay. You should go to the first thing Imajigi. You just uh, download Sim Hub, install on your PC. If you, I think everybody here uh, knows how to install a piece of software on their PCs, and you should be perfectly good to go. Now, next, once it's installed, you do all the installing. Body, daddy, daddy. You should have or or on your tray or or on your desktop a shortcut, and you can open your Sim Hub. So. What do I do to keep it really, really simple? On the left, left hand side, you just click Dash Studio. You should see a list of dashboards that, you, that are readily available to you. I'm usually, I usually use, use the lovely dashboard, which is one of my favorite dashboards, if not the favorite one. But when you install Sim Hub, you should have a few default ones that are uh, plenty good to start and to see if you feel comfortable, if you like, if this is something you like but it's you can you can you can do another video about installing new dashboards which is quite simple but i should do it separately then you should see here um on your corner open in browser or open in phone and or tablets so for our purpose you you can use either one let's click the phone or tablet now you see this uh, this this um, this window so this is going to give you some information that you need to insert on your on your phone or tablet um, and you should take a note or screenshot or, or whatever the case of, of this okay so in my case it's 192.168.120 column 8888 take note of that you're going to use that on your phone or tablet and i'm going to show you on the next section stay tuned so once your 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 have your sim rig completely set up, and this applies, this conversation, this video applies to uh, sim simulation software like uh, iRacing, etc. All of those simulators uh, doesn't matter. Uh, it, it, this can also be useful to to other programs. You should um, and other simulators and other games. You will really should explore Sim Hub to all to its capacity. It's a, an amazing soft piece of software that can actually do much, 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 much for you. But for sim racing and to make this simple, so you did your sim sim um, sim rig stuff, da -di -da -di -da -di. Then you just go back. You just have to uh, go to your 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 phone. I'm sorry, I'm going to look down now because I'm looking at my phone. And on the top here, you just type in the uh, URL uh, you just found out on your sim rig. In my case, is 192.168.1.20 column 8888. You type here the one you just have uh, figured out in your sim rig. Now you have your your dashboards here. The, very simple. We just need to pick the one you want to use. I'm going to pick level dashboard because it's my favorite one. It's going to load. Currently, I don't have uh, any any game or simulator loaded, but that's why it's showing me nothing. But you just uh, hit the full screen the full screen key, and it's there. Okay, so this is focusing here. It's perfectly functional. It's it's very easy to do and uh it, it works great now in the previous screen you'll see on the top that you can download the app i found the app a little bit more reliable than the browser but that's my experience so if you don't want to install nothing on your phone extra you can just use your browser and you're good to go or you just hit download and we'll just uh android will will be or iphone will be a little bit suspicious which is which is uh, fine you just keep it you download it, wait it for it to download, you open it, and you install. You just need to set your security settings temporarily to allow uh, some um, 
some things that are beyond it's fine after this you can just undo this change but i do trust steam hub I, I have done this many many times so just install it let it go do it then don't forget to undo this setting um so you don't have you 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 don't you are not exposed um from other stuff so just open the app after installing right up up there it's already pre-set pre up you just hit to co hit connect and you should be oh i'm sorry this is not my the, the correct ip address so so 192.168.1.20 if i'm not mistaken yep mine is 20 you see a similar situation you just hit your dashboard and the next time you open you should be automatically open your your dashboard so it should be fine and uh, you should be basically using your lovely dashboard or whatever dashboard you choose so yeah um let the level dashboard it's my dashboard of choice but you can use uh, any other dashboard that is pre that pre installed with cm hub or uh, the one you actually prefer to be the best for you hope you like this like and subscribe it really helps and i'll see you next one next one type in the chat type in the comment box if you have any questions about this it's really simple but i'm uh, always available to help you out like and subscribe again it really helps and i'll see you next one guys don't forget to do not trust uh the app, external apps after you install this it's very important for your safety in your phone safety and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys